Hey, it's Keith from Amp Publishing, and today I'm going to review a piece of software called Pixel Studio Pro, and this is version 2.0. Now, what this is is an e-cover creator. Okay, so you can create ebook covers, uh, software boxes, um, CD covers, uh, you know, anything for training programs. I mean, you name it. I'll, I'll walk you through and I'll show you all the different uh, types of e-covers you can create. Uh, but I just wanted to touch base just a little bit on the value of something like this. Now, being an internet marketer, you know, I always want everything to look professional, whether I'm running a list building campaign with some Facebook ads, um, I'm putting on a piece of software, a training program, whatever it is, e-covers are always uh, kind of an essential for me. Um, so I've tried using things like Fiverr, you know, paying five or ten bucks to get just one, uh, you know, one ebook cover uh, done, and it, it, it just, I'm always disappointed. Okay, so it, it's the professionalism there. You kind of pay for what you get. Now, I've also used Photoshop, okay, because I'm lucky enough to know how to use Photoshop, and I've tried using Actions in there um, to have it. But either way, I still have to design it from, you know, kind of the ground up. And I'm not a designer. Uh, I don't want to take the time to do it, um, and it's expensive to to purchase, right? I mean, if you have a decent designer out there, one just one view of your book uh, or a CD cover or whatever it may be can run you 50 to $100. Um, you know, it's not cheap to get it done professionally, okay? Now, uh, one little uh, other little thing about this uh, piece of software is the vendor. Uh, I really like Jimmy Kim. Uh, he's the one who brought us Doodly, the uh, sketch animation uh, software. Uh, his software is always solid. Uh, he's got fantastic support. That is actually one of my number one things with Jimmy. I, I really put it, he has an autoresponder company called Sendlane um, that I use strictly for that. I mean, there's so many autoresponders out there; it's it's insane. Um, but uh, his 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 uh, support is is spot on, and he and he carries that over into every little piece of software he does okay so uh, okay so really enough about that uh, I'll kind of get into what this is about now in all my reviews I like to go through the funnel and kind of show you and, and let you know exactly what you're getting um, for the offer okay now the front end offer here is is pretty much everything I'm going to show you is included, uh, except for this group shot um, uh, right here, and I'll show you what that is here. Uh, let's see here. Let me load. Oh, sorry, I was logged out there. Let me log back in there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the group shot. Um, uh, so you get all these different kind of bundle uh, covers, and there's just, I mean, there's just a ton of them here uh, that you get to choose from. So everything is included except these. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk through and show you how to do this. This is actually the first upsell. Um, this is the pro version of uh, Pixel Studio Pro that you'll be able to create these group shots, okay? So the front end, you're gonna see everything I show you except this area here is going to be included in that front end offer, which for now, Oh, let me go ahead and get back there. Uh, for now, uh, for this first week of the launch, which uh, this actually opens up on Monday, September 19th uh, at 9 a.m., uh, you can get it for a one-time cost of $67, okay? After the first week, it's going to go up uh, to, I think he's I think he's at a $47 a month uh, fee for that. Now, the one thing about Jimmy um, and his software is he, when he says it's going to a monthly, it is going to a monthly. Um, so there's a lot of you know vendors out there that say they're going to do it and never actually do. Jimmy sticks to it. So if you want to get this for a one-time cost, um, you know, make sure you pick it up during that first week. Um, now, uh, so like I say, everything I'm going to show you is included in that front end offer. Uh, the so basically, what you get is about 250 plus um, done for you e-covers, about 14,000 icons and images, 150 different fonts, and of course training. Now, with the first upsell, uh, it's 149 one-time cost, and what you're going to get is the access to create group shots. Uh, what you're also going to get is 400 more done for you templates and 300 more fonts, along with uh, developer commercial rights to sell these designs. All right, so it's a, not a bad little business. Like I said, for, to get professional e-covers, it's not cheap um, it, to create these things and sell them, uh, sell them to your clients. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it's kind of a kind of a no-brainer. Um, okay, so basically that's uh, that's what the funnel is. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, jump in here and take a look at how we use this. So first off, when you actually uh, load this for the first time, there's two different kind of color variations. It, it defaults to this black look. Uh, I don't, I, it's not easy on me on, on my eye, so I kind of like this white look a little bit better, so you can switch in between there. Um, but the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna notice is on the, the left-hand side here is all the different themes, okay? So there's, you know, different niches, basically. Your betting systems, uh, business and investing, computers and internet. Uh, there's just tons and tons of different, uh, different niches to choose from that are uh, already done for you, okay? Travel, cell 
self-help um, cooking, I believe is another one. So you can go through and kind of find uh, kind of a done for you one in any niche uh, that, that's around. So for now, I'm just going to use, let's just go to the computer. Uh, let's see here. Maybe we'll do software and services. Okay. All right. So now what we can do is we basically will choose one. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick uh, one of these here. Let's just do this one here. Now, the next step here, you're gonna see these are all the different choices that you're gonna get. Now, remember, as I said, when you hire somebody to do one of these things for you, it's usually just one set, right? It's gonna be the CD cover or just the box, um, and it's gonna cost you you know, anywhere from 50 to $100. Here, you can choose from all these different styles um, of covers, okay? So for now, I'm just as an example, I'm just gonna go for uh, the standard software looking box here, okay? So it's gonna load you into the actual editor. Now, what you can do is you can zoom in and out. Okay, so we can zoom out here a little bit so you can see everything. And for these demo purposes, I have my browser kind of small, so uh, things are a little bit more crowded. Uh, but I'll go ahead and zoom out of there. Um, and what you're gonna see is basically on the right-hand side are all of the uh, features that you, and things that you can edit, okay? Now you can apply actions to the to anything that you have selected, uh, controlling any of the brightness, saturation, you know, uh, all those kind of type of, of, of settings, all right? Uh, you can also do some presets to certain things. So if I were to select, uh, let's say, um, it might work best on an image actually. Let's see, I don't think there's many images in this particular one. Let's actually hop back and pick a different, uh, a different one that has some images so I can show you everything here. How about this one? Okay. All right. Zoom back out for you. Okay, so if I choose something like this, I can apply uh, these different kind of presets. So kind of doing a vintage, if you watch it, it kind of changes. You could do Sin City, like a Vegas, where it kind of highlights everything for you. Uh, I mean, it grunge. There's a bunch of different, um, you know, different settings that you can apply pretty much to any, uh, any of any images, okay? Um, and you can certainly just you can just reset it right there as well to get back to the beginning. Now you can also colorize, okay? So colorizing is uh, you can colorize like the background, and basically what it'll do is kind of randomly choose different colors and different color uh, schemes for that background, or you can do the whole template. You can literally just kind of click through, and it will change up every everything about it: font colors, uh, background colors, graphic color colors. Um, so you can mix and match uh, if you kind of want to, you know, take that route. Uh, of course, you can you can reset. Now uh, with positioning, uh, we can also now with anything that we select on here. Okay, I'll just go ahead and select something. Uh, we can do whoop, we can do uh, your widths. Uh, you maintain aspect ratios. You can flip things horizontally, vertically, all that good stuff. Or do any kind of rotation that you want. Uh, I mean, of course, you can certainly move things around uh, as you feel fit. Um, what, now, what we also have too, let me kind of show this, just some, some grids here uh, that you can kind of overlay if you want to make sure things are lining up uh, correctly. So just a little bit of a, of a guide there to help you out. Now you're going to see here also is that it has, you know, kind of the division of like, this is kind of the spine here, this is the top, and this is basically the front of the box. So you'll always be able to see, so you make sure that you're fitting your, your elements in the right spots, okay? Now you can also arrange these things frontwards and backwards, basically layering them. Um, you can move it forward, you know, move it in front, uh, and you can do that for any element as well. Uh, now your type uh, let's just go ahead and select a piece of text here. What uh, you, you can do is uh, you, you can choose which different uh, type um, font style that you'd like. Okay, if I want it handwritten, and then choose the font that you want. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of different different fonts here depending on which style I've chosen. Um, so if I wanted to do that, you know, we go ahead and, and edit that. Uh, and you can certainly do your rotations from here. You can duplicate and delete from uh, from right inside the, the editor as well. Now, you can also apply a vertical text direction. Okay, so if you want to make your text vertical, you just go ahead and click that box. And, and it will switch for you, okay? Uh, now you can also then, of course, change your text here and then apply that. Now you can also try tr apply transparency to anything, okay? So if I go ahead and you know put that down, obviously that's going to lessen the opacity um, and make it a little bit more uh, transparent. Uh, and now the other thing I wanted to show you quick, which was I thought kind of kind of cool, um, is you can basically select any piece of text here. And what he has is these things called user profiles, okay? So what this is, um, is you can edit the text. So I've already done this. What it does is it finds, um, these are labels that correlate to certain parts of uh, of your e-cover, okay? Title, author name, tagline, and, and such. And you can fill all this out and then, you know, hit update. Now, what it'll do is basically take whatever I have filled in the title here. If I click it, as you'll see, it says Keith's profile. Uh, it will just automatically switch that for you. Um, you know, a good example of that is just your, if you're always, you know, if it's always coming from you, it's the same business name, um, you know, same um, author. Uh, you can just go ahead and click that author name, and there it is. It swaps it out for you. So it just makes it a little bit easier, um, you know, to do that. I just thought that was kind of a, a cool little feature. 
And of course, you can add text, you know, anywhere you want. <clears throat> Okay, so new text, you can set your fonts, of course your typography for everything. Now, as you said, there's uh, over 14,000 different icons and images. Uh, you can also upload your own, um, so that's that's not a problem. You can certainly put your own your own images up there as well. Now he's got these kind of separated into different uh, colors and shapes, um, uh, different categories for them as well uh, that you can use, okay? Uh, we also have a bunch of images uh, that you can use as well. Uh, so we have system images right here, betting images. Uh, you know, there's tons of different ones that you can go through and, and use. And again, like we said, you can actually connect to your uh, your stock accounts as well, uh, if if you'd like. Um, so we can do that. Let's click and agree. Um, so you can hook up if you're you know an iStock member or or whatever. You can get those to to load right in here as well. Okay, and of course he has his stock image imagery as well for backgrounds and whatnot. All right, um, now also what we have here are background images, okay? So you have your own backgrounds if you were to upload them and a bunch of different system ones that, that come preloaded uh, that you can use. And of course, just solid color if you just wanna make it a solid color. Okay, and uh, you can also reset those templates as well by clicking this and it'll reset back to the default, all right? You can name these as well. It doesn't have to be, you know, box one. It could be, you know, Keith Test, whatever whatever you want that to be. Uh, you can certainly name these, uh, you know, whatever, whatever of your choosing. So when you're done, uh, we're just going to go ahead and just click save here. Okay. Um, so now it's saved and then you can also do a, a preview. Okay, so you'll see there's a preview. Now you can do a full screen preview. You can mess with the background color, the background image. Um, you can also apply a watermark if you choose. And you can also add reflections or shadows. Okay, so if I want to add a reflection, Okay, you'll see it's added my reflection down here. Now you can change the background size as well. Um, and then of course, zooming in and out. And what you could do is also add shadows if you'd like as well. Okay, and then you can simply hit the download and it will download just the E, uh, just the E cover. Um, and I have it as a PNG, so it'll have a transparent background. Or you can download it with the background if you choose to put an image in there or some colors, <clears throat> you know, or however you'd like to edit that, okay? One thing I did forget to tell you is you can actually also on your on any of the images that you have in here, you can apply a shadow um, or a reflection um, on these uh, as well. Uh, so you can change the different uh, different settings here. It, you know, if if you'd like, as you see, it's kind of put the shadow on there a little bit more. You can add the reflection um, if you if you'd like. Um, as you'll see, there's the reflection. Um, so you can go ahead and, and apply that really to any you know any images that you have on your on your covers as well. Once you're done, just like I said, go ahead and uh, just give it a give it a quick save. All right, and we can go ahead and exit. So that's everything that you can do within this particular e-cover. Okay, now again, of course, depending on which layout you choose, um, you're going to have different options for for editing and and, and placement. Okay. Um, now, the one thing uh, I want to show you is the pro version, okay, which is the group shot, which is really kind of cool the way they have this set up, okay? So what you can do is create the group shot. So I'm just going to choose one of these here. Let's just, uh, let's just say this one here, okay? All right, so what you're going to see is uh, basically on this group shot, I had, uh, let's go ahead and close this for a second, one, two, three, I have four different, um, you know, different uh, layouts, basically, or different types of covers. Uh, and as we switch between the, and their names, you're going to see um, that you can choose a different one for each, okay? So if I want to select a theme, I can, you know, let's just say I like this theme. Now, obviously, I might want to change up my, uh, you know, the text and whatnot to, to fit what I'm actually selling. Um, and just go ahead and you just save it. <clears throat> now, this is a web-based uh, software, okay? You don't have to download anything. Uh, so sometimes the processing, depending on how intense your images are, it may take a, it may take up to a minute to actually process something. Um, but it's it's pretty quick, actually, considering it's, it's image editing. Um, so it's not too bad. Uh, but if we go ahead and, and we exit out of there, okay? And we go into our, let's see here. Oops, hit the wrong one there. Uh, we're going to go into the group show. Sorry about that, Get the wrong one. Where's my group shot? This is the one here. You're gonna see now that this is one that's available. So basically what it's gonna do is as you start to create these group shots, it's gonna load any of the any of the ones that you've saved or applied um, to each of this of, of this type of cover, okay? So this particular cover is called, you know, BIN1-1. So every cover that you create 
um, for this particular cover template, you'll then have available to you in your group shot. Now, right now, I don't have any available to me, right? Because I, yeah, well, I did a few tests here, so you'll see a few that are applied. Um, so I don't have uh, any all of them loaded up for every every type of cover there is. So as you begin to build more covers, you'll see those are start to fill. So what I can do is basically choose um, for each one what I what I'd like. If they can all be the same, if if you want to, or you can have different covers for each of the group shots. Okay. So now with this particular one. You can also start from scratch, okay? Um, so we can select a theme for this one, and let's just pick that. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So be aware that you do have to save your your uh, your actual covers first before you can apply them to the group section, okay? All right, so let's go back to my group uh, three here, I believe it was. And we'll go back to that last one and apply this. Okay, so I have that, um, I chose that, and this, and that, okay. So let's just go ahead and generate that. All right, and there it is. Okay, so there's my look. Now, again, I could have a choose to put a watermark on it, download it, download it trimmed, which is basically without the background, and you've got yourself a whole set. Okay, so the group shots are really <laughs> that's a really nice feature because it is not cheap to get these this made with this many types of um, you know of different covers. Um, so I really really like uh, I really like that he had, had that he included that in there. Now, once you've um, kind of saved that that group, you can always it will be here in your um, you know in your load save group shots uh, so you can go ahead and, and, and reload those anytime make changes um, you know save it as something else so, you know whatever you choose to do again uh, and I kind of skipped over it you can create your own e-cover okay so you can choose whichever you know whichever of these uh, you like if you just want to go with this um, kind of iPad and it'll just give you the blank um, you know the blank the blank view of it and you can just go ahead and add whatever you need to add to it uh, and build your own uh, build your own out if, if, if you prefer okay I personally like the done for you a lot of the designs are really nice and I can tweak them they're already laid out I just go ahead and swap swap out what I you know for, for text and if I want to swap some graphics and colors um, so so that's basically um, pixel studio pro in a nutshell uh, pretty powerful uh, definitely worth the cost um, especially when it launches on Monday September 19th at 9 a.m you get it for that one-time price of 67 dollars so for one time for 67 bucks for the rest of your life you can basically create as many e-covers as, as as you need um, so go ahead I'll put the um, link to the sales page in the description below uh, so go ahead and click on that and pick up your copy today